Hey, we good here? Good. I'm getting back to work. We having a full conversation like this podcast. All right, yo. Welcome to the Purple Pill Podcast. My name is Rob. I'm with my co-host, Darren. Yo, yo. And my other co-host, LA. What's good? How y'all doing this week? How y'all been? Dehydrated. I'm trying to get hydrated. I swear to God, it's been so hot. I've been drinking a gallon of water a day. Yeah. And it's still not enough. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to start off this week with something a little different. I want to do a mental health check. How we doing? Oh, on everybody. Uh, I thought my doctor had talked to you or something. I was about to say, hey, no, we're not doing this here. You bringing a psychologist on the podcast? You want me to? I could try to find one. A therapist? Nah, no, it's all good. I got, I got some things to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want to hear it. I'm good, huh? I'm That's good. good. I okay. Work was a little stressful this week. Mm-hmm. We got through it though. So, you know. What about you? I'm like on a four. Don't you got like four jobs? <laughs> no, I don't. I only have one job right now. He um, got two. He got at least two or three jobs. So I can tell you that. He's Four like the dad of everybody hates yeah. Chris. Yeah. He, he got does, like 40 jobs. He hosts this show. He edits this show. You got like 40 jobs? Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah he got a couple jobs. He got, yeah, he got a couple jobs, man. Yeah, I yeah, I'm good. My mental health check, I give it a B plus, A minus. That's good. I feel strong. Next week will be great. It's like A minus is right, right there. Yeah, yeah. I think we should talk about. We we need to watch the way we talk to women. You said what? I think we need to start talking about the way we talk to women. The way we talk to Which women. Woman? It's like women in general. Oh. Uh, what do you I mean? I feel like I'm polite. I always hold doors open for women. I try. I went to go get photo today. The lady said, thank you. I said, you're welcome. I was very polite. Yeah. Like, All right. I'm going to cut that whole section out. How do yeah. you treat women? Yeah, that's a good question, Rob. I, I think pretty well. Oh, you mean like how they're seen in industry? Like I think, I think, I think, I think porn has ruined the way we look at women. Uh... But the argument to that would be since the, we looked at women in that type of way throughout history, so it's porn just uh, glorifies it. But uh, defied it. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. I I guess I can see what well, you're saying. With but COVID time, and people being inside yeah, and relationships yeah, being strained. I don't I think it's that. just. I don't think it's just uh, women. Though. I think it's in general, right? People in general are popping yeah. off, yeah. Yeah, in general, and uh. And porn, like I think you start objectifying any, the individual in general on both sides. Just playing both sides. I just, I have questions though. What's that? So when it comes to porn, can anybody make porn? Only fans, right? Uh, as long as you're up, but in, in the U.S., as long as you're above the age of eighteen, right? Anyone can record a sexual act. Above eighteen, and it is porn. Uh, if they put it out to the public, right? Do you want to look at the definition of porn? The now, how do two adults, let's say two adults, somehow found each other, recorded said activity, and gave it out to the world? That is porn. Yeah. Now, if I would say. It. I would say. Two individuals do the exact same thing, but one party's being paid, it is still porn. Wait, I'm sorry. Say that one more time. One party is being paid. Yeah. Let's say the female yeah. is being paid. That's still porn. Yeah. Correct. So how is prostitution the thing? Is my overall question. If porn exists... It's like it's kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird because like when you porn's when you not real though. Porn, if you yeah, just record well, no, it, is well, it not porn? Think about it. Porn's in not the real. Sense, in the brain, it is. In the sensors of the brain, in the brain, it is. Yours. In the in the brain, she's. If other guys are pleasuring themselves to it, she's pleasuring multiple men at the same time just because she put that out. I mean, that's just the way my brain looks at it. 
And I, I see what she's saying because it's just it'll just be one guy. But at that sense, she is doing one guy to Rob's argument. So in reality, it's not right. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I can't find the difference in that, to be real. My main question is, how is prostitution illegal? And what is the difference between it and, and the porn. porn industry? Well, you know, it's one thing about... That's one thing I don't understand. I feel like porn is a big thing in the Western culture, though, right? Not much, as much in I mean, Eastern. I've never culture. lived there. Yeah, but too sure. People too sure. are more open that I've experienced from those areas. I feel like they're... Well, I don't know. No, I've never met. I've. I, don't I know, know some Asian people. I know some, but I've never had this conversation with them. I guess. Mm. I used to be very prude. I used to keep my things to myself. Yep. I'm not saying I don't anymore, but you know, keep moving. Are we still recording? Or yeah, we're recording. Okay. No, definitely. Yeah. I didn't know. But yeah, that uh. So Rob, I need an answer. What's the difference between prostitution and porn? They both start with P's. What's the difference? So porn's porn is production. It's kind of played up. Uh, they do. It's it's not real. Prostitution is you're paying somebody for a real experience. Porn well, is I'm, two well, actors well, getting together and acting and and actually yeah, act, yeah. acting and having sex. Are they so acting? you have to be an actor. I disagree. I disagree with that. Yeah, those are actors <laughs> basically. So you so can, it's like it's like a it's like only fans is a whole bunch of actors. That's what you're saying. Only fans is a whole bunch of amateur actors. I mean, what's oh, my question is? So then what's I mean, the difference uh, of an amateur actor going to find another amateur actor, but she charges two hundred dollars a session, and they record it? What's the difference? And plus, prostitution has that whole pimp thing too. I I don't know how it works. I'm just saying. So you, so, so it's like women take, being forced to possibly force meant uh like literal physically or maybe even so, uh, psychologically to uh, do porn. I mean to do to do have sexual actions with these men. Where porn is a little more. So so let's I'm gonna go I'm gonna take I'm gonna take you guys on a little story. Uh, oh there was this there's this Netflix documentary called uh, Hot Girls Wanted. Have you heard of it? Uh, sounds familiar. Before you get into this, I want to preface that when I say prostitution, I don't mean what the U.S. sees as prostitution. I'm talking about like the Amsterdam's and the rest of the world's where it's like sex work. You know, like to say price, you want to come play, you pay your price. It's clean and then not. That is what I'm talking about. But go on. Yeah. Well, okay. In this documentary called Hot Girls Wanted, it's about uh, it's about amateur porn stars getting into the porn industry. So they would like get girls who were from like Ohio who wanted to try it out. They're flying down to Miami, and they would get them gigs to see how good they are. And there was this one guy he they specifically followed. He had about ten ten or so girls in his house. And uh, he would try to find them online on Instagram. He would fly them out. He would give them housing. He would give them food and uh, go help them get gigs around the city and stuff. And I remember watching, sitting there thinking about that is, and I was like, this guy's basically just a pimp. So what's in the a way, in a, it's just a hustling pimp. Yep. You explain to me. Why people are sitting and, in jails and for marijuana? Prostitution and can be sex. Pro- prostitution can be forced upon and marijuana. forced to do something by your pimp. Where porn in the porn industry, it's not. Um, How is it any different? It's not forced. It's your what choice. Pr- You're signing a contract to do something to do. I this think film. when we think about prostitution in the West, we think about like like Rob Pimps said, about the pimp. But if you take the pimp out of it. And the the like like La said it's a sex worker and she's getting paid. Is there she's really paid. a difference? Is there a difference of her getting paid? That's that's what she, I think you're trying to ask, right? That that's her four a.m. to ten a.m. and yeah. she goes home. And what's the difference? And she's made more than home? you've made in two weeks. Want to know something funny? I think what? my junior year of high school, uh, we were I wrote a paper uh, on why prostitution should be legal. I mean. 
It's an argument. I would never partake, but there's there's an argument. There's an argument. I mean, it's legal in um Nevada. I'm pretty sure, right? It yeah, is. like I think it is. They figured the shit out. Yeah. If you want to do this, you got to go X, Y, or Z. Go do it there. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of the issues in the world can easily be solved with compromise. Absolutely. Just the simple rules put in place with the. Uh, uh, what it is like marijuana, for example, like all the states I got it 21 and older. I think that's a perfect gauge. You figure it out. I think that's a perfect gauge for adults to start smoking marijuana. Do you really? If you if you really, yeah, I do. I think that's stupid. But why? Then why cigarettes 18? You say what? Also well, cigarettes should be all against tobacco law. products are 21. Or, yeah, they are 21 now. At least in or is that all right? in Ohio? Oh, at least in Ohio. Know, but- all around, yeah. but I know it's 21 here. You right about that, but um, got to be 21 to party, baby. T- tobacco should be illegal. That's what I'm gonna say. Why? You know, I no. Hold I'm on. Why should tobacco down. be legal? You said what? I'm slowing down. I'm starting to see the light. I feel you. Why should it be illegal? Yeah. Why should tobacco be illegal? What's wrong with tobacco? Not nothing good. No, no health benefit comes from smoking tobacco. At least you get health benefits from marijuana. Am I wrong or am I right? That's arguable. There's a medical science to it. Now, if you want to say... Now, my biggest thing is I think marijuana in general through the whole land should be fe- should be federally medical. Now, let the states decide if they want to do recreational after that. I think I, definitely medical, though, because there's uh, a medical benefit to it. I argue that tobacco cannot have medicinal effects. It helps you poop. It's like a laxative. Wait, t- what does Touché. tobacco? Tobacco. Touché. Helps you poop? Smoke tobacco. Sometimes you get to poop. Yeah. Would Touché. you rather just drink coffee? Uh, cream juice? Is what you just said? No. I'd rather not drink cream juice. <laughs> yeah. I'd That's rather a coffee. Hit a black and mild. And. Uh, not a black and mild. Feel it flow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm in a man. festive mood today. I haven't worn my holiday sweater. The holidays? See? I got this from Home Depot for like eight dollars. It is the holidays this weekend, so I guess that makes sense. Memorial Day. I wonder when the mem- Memorial Day started for real. What? what is the history of Memorial Day? I have for no veterans, clue. right? There's a veterans day though. Well I mean you're remembering Oh wow. Oh you're memorializing. Good. Memorial, I'm stupid. Memorial Day is for the soldiers that we lost, right? And then Veterans Day is the soldiers that made it back. I, I hope know. that's right. I hope I, I got that right. That. I hope I got that Rob, right. Rob, what do you think? A time for uh, hanging at the beach. Holiday. A day to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice while defending their nation. Yep. Oh. Defending your nation. It's for those people. It's for who? The people who defended their nation. In general? That's what it sounds like. Is it just a national holiday? Or is this just... The it's Civil a national war. America's bloodiest chapter. Over 600,000 soldiers killed in action. Almost every community in every state suffered the loss of young men. As the war That's came what, to an end, how many people died from coronavirus? Northern and southern yeah. states began placing flags. I think then so we, I think this Memorial Day should uh, memorialize the coronavirus veterans. Absolutely, the victims. That's yeah. an idea. I think that should be all, absolutely something that we do. Lost a lot of people to it. A lot of people. My phone is going crazy. Man, man, yeah, that sucks. 2020, looking back, bro, 2020, um, just looking back to where we're at now, because I walked into a gas station, and they was like, man, yeah, you don't even need a mask anymore. Uh, and I'll be I just felt like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we made it through a crazy year. Rob, you said her? Yeah, yeah, I was just listening to you. I don't know. I feel like 2020 was crazy. You're going to have a lot of editing to do this episode. No, I'm going to keep this in. 
keep all what in? All of this. All of it. I got you, you. I have you on screenshot the whole time. Screenshot. I don't even know what you're talking about. All right. Anyway, let's get to this next topic, man. <sighs> what? Who is this? No, she could be my wife, though. No, she can't. Okay, you're right. <laughs> I can't. Hear it. Who's that? When I was first adopted, my sister's friend looked over me and she says, now wait a second, is she black or does she just have a really good tan? <laughs> my sister said, this is my new little baby sister, Sarah. She's part West African and part white American. And they were like, oh, okay. I had found my birth mother's family when I was in uh, my first year of graduate school and my early 20s. So I found out she had passed away of cancer. I really got to meet this amazing family and, and started to learn about my birth mother and I got to meet her sister, which was really, really cool. And then I realized, well, what was it like to be an African man in the 70s with a white woman in West Virginia having a child. Maybe I should give this guy a break, right? So the moment I got out of my own way and opened myself up and was like, wait a second, what has his life been like? Why don't I walk in his shoes for a moment? A whole new, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, it may sound crazy, but like this yellow brick road opened up, so to speak. Perspective. Perspective could do that. So I wrote a letter. Four days later, I get a phone call. And there's this woman on the other line, and she says, Hello, Sarah. This is your Auntie Evelyn. How are you? And I froze. And then my uncle gets on the phone. He goes, Oh, Sarah, we are so happy you've been found. Do you know who you are? And I'm like, I'm Sarah. He says, you are part of a royal family. Your great-grandfather was a paramount chief. Your grandfather, your uncle runs a chiefdom of 45,000, now 70,000. You can be chief. You are considered a princess in this country. And I was like, wait a second, what? He said, we're going to contact your father in Sierra Leone. He's going to be so happy to meet you. Wow. That's, That's crazy. That's Yo. dope. Yo, do you think her uh, father killed her uncle on accident? Her father I called her like, uncle. I feel like he went straight to um, Black Panther, man. Right? That's dope. Like, it sounds like it's Black Panther. Good for her. I'm happy for her, man. Is she going to come back and take over and use the weapons to oh, free yeah. all the black people? That's what I would do. Free all the black people in America. Come to here. She's like, I want your weapons. As soon as the shit that came on her phone, she said, I want your weapons. That would be funny as fuck. <laughs> we don't gotta watch this whole thing. This shit's six minutes. I didn't realize this shit was that long. What country was she the princess? Somewhere in Sierra Leone. Some chiefdom. So Sierra. it is Sierra Leone. Okay, because I, I thought her father was just in Sierra Leone, but I don't know who she spoke to. That's why I lost. All right, I get off the ahead. airplane and I see my birth father sitting there and standing there actually, so statuesque and so nervous. And it's like his eyes were talking to me in, a mo in that moment is as if they were saying, please like me, please accept me, please like me. And it was so beautiful. We took a ferry over that night, stayed in a small hotel, and then there was a knock at the door the next morning from my father, and he gave me this beautiful green African dress. Oh, man. So I, said, I yeah, would love you to wear this green job. African Good dress job. into our family's village tomorrow. And I said, I would love to. And as we arrive in the village, there are 100, 200, 300, hundreds of people to welcome. And then all of a sudden, everyone parts, and all the women of the village come forward wearing the same green dress that I had been given, and they were singing. They were singing, but a tang, 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 but a tang, tang, tang. Panadu, adu, way, pura, Sarah, go to. They were singing, we're preparing for Sarah. And I had never met anyone there in my entire life. I was literally pinching myself. And I, I hadn't won the basketball game. I wasn't the homecoming queen. I didn't, I just showed up and that was enough. And it was 
so exciting and so special. This this is great. This might this is horrible. I need more things like this in my life. This is nice. Yeah, the internet's undefeated. They had celebrations for the next couple days, and then I got to tour around the campus of Boompe High School. And my grandfather helped build the school years ago, and I started to see what happened after an 11-year blood diamond war. I saw yeah. people with missing arms, missing legs. I saw the roof that had been ripped off the top of the dining hall. Um, and, and the reality set in that this is wonderful that I've come to meet my family, but I realized that's actually not what this trip is. Well, she's actually not a princess, and this is all a scam. And she's trying to get hustled. She's getting hustled. That would be crazy. The greatest hustle. Yeah. Like, you know those, uh, when you respond to an email, oh, you're gosh, a prince? Oh gosh, you guys work this out. That'd be crazy. That'd I mean, be crazy. Yeah, that would be crazy. I but hope not. This at the same like, time. This is Helping my family. People. This isn't the Blood Diamond movie that I can put pause on and just walk away. This is my family, and we've got to do something. Oh, they really are about to turn this shit into a Disney movie. That's wild. Is that real? For real? Did you see that? It just said it right there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, she she, she oh. says she is currently in talks to turn the story into Disney. That's what's up. I mean, it's a great story. I don't blame her. She's a real Killmonger. Yeah, I know all this didn't happen for no reason. For people of color and specifically African Americans, we don't often get taught because people don't know about the content. <clears throat> And we don't know about our, our African roots. And so we're only taught about slavery, which tends to make me go, oh gosh, not another slavery movie. Even though it's important part of our history, it's not all of it. And mm. I think what can be great about this movie is that it can actually take us back to knowing that like, we didn't all come here as slaves. We were Africans, mothers, fathers, doctors, lawyers, healers, um, everybody and then made slaves. And there's this missing piece that I feel like I want African-Americans to know who we are, like where we all come from, because it's been so long and we've been disconnected, but it's really our origin. I'm 100% down with this cause, bro. I'm 100% down for this cause. You got a boyfriend? Huh? That's your chance. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about all that. Shout out. She, she, Shout got, out. she got me on the Sing. emotional side by, like, by the end of it. You can know. sing Erica Badu to you. <laughs> nah, bro. I, I, but I agree with that so much, bro. Like, we don't know our history. Like, last last week, we was just taught about Liberia. You just taught me about Liberia last week mm -hmm. on the podcast. So, I don't you know. I, I think there's just that gap that we just need we need to know about, bro. And we just don't know. Thanks. They say those don't who know the history are destined to repeat it. And that's the scariest thing. And that's the thing, bro. All we know, we know about Harry, like far, as far as our history go back for the African-Americans that we learn, you get, if you really do research, you dive a little bit deeper into these names, but just the basic names, Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass. But then if you go a little bit deeper, you get George Washington Carver, you get um, Sojourner Truth, you get Martin, uh, Marcus Muhammad Garvey. Ali. W E Du Bois, W E B Du Bois, um, but Madeline even C. Then, J. Washington or what was her name? Walker, was it Walker? Walker yeah. Yeah. Well, that's said Washington. Yeah. But yeah, man. But that's all we get. That's all we get. It's like we're being brainwashed to just know about American black well, folk history. Let me ask you but this question. About Kuta. Well, let me ask yeah, you this question. Nah, nah, but we don't know that for real. We don't know about Kuta. That's a movie. That's a movie uh, to us. Yeah, that's what you I'm saying. Know about Massa Musa? Yeah, well, yeah, I know about Massa Musa. But I don't think everybody know about Massa Musa. They know about Pharaoh. You know yeah. about things. Think about yeah. it like this. There's still like there you can't. Yeah. There's stuff that we just don't know. But I feel Very like true. there has to. I think in 2020 or 2019 there was that uh. 
a big welcoming back from for one country on the continent that said uh they was welcoming back a lot of people from America uh, back into the continent. They was giving free citizenship. I'm pretty sure they still are. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> you can come back. Yeah, pretty much. Think about it like this. If uh, if history is due to replete itself and we were slaves, do you think they already put us back in slavery with, the, with this? Those who don't know the history are doomed to repeat it. But you, do you think they already did it? No. They already, like, re-enslaved their minds with these commercials, fast food, uh, just like America's is propaganda, politics. Um, the way they teach our kids. I mean, I feel like a lot of that stuff is either a distraction or an experiment. I can see... Is life an experiment? You. Just one big experiment? Oh God, I, like I can it. see where they're coming from, where they're pushing a certain agenda or something on the youth or on us by us seeing beautiful white women on TV only all the time. But I think people are changing. Like, I've been seeing L'Oreal commercials with girls who are dark, dark only yeah. in them. Like, I've been seeing Target commercials with actual black people, not people who have really good tan and coarse hair. Is that Bubby? That is definitely Bubby. Bubby! Bubby. I hate him. He's a fat piece of trash. (laughs) He just (laughs) ate, man. He got the (laughs) itis. But, you know, like, I think we're progressing in the right way, especially in Hollywood. Like, things are much more progressive I think like they have TV shows like I'm not supported by them not a plug alert but they have shows like Bob Hart's Happy Shola about an interracial couple what is it on like TBS or something yeah like it's on season 2 my guy that's a good funny show it's crazy like the world's definitely getting more progressive it's slow it's It's not gonna happen overnight is being progressive a good thing I think you know the most progress the the thing though that people will really stand for even over represent representation, even though I know that's what we're talking talking about, is the violence stopping the violence of of it all. We can talk about representation next. You feel me? Safety is first. That's the way I look at it. You know, I was once told by a drunk guy that black people like gold and diamonds and chains for two reasons. In history, black people have been on two sides of the coin. They've been in the shit during slavery Mm -hmm. where they had shackles and chains around their necks and they were forced to do whatever. And they also had the good parts being in the Fertile Crescent, they were rich that money, that silks, gold, diamonds, everything. But throughout history, they've always had chains of some sort. What happened? And I was like, wow. For a drunk dude, you'd be saying some shit. I kind of agree with that. I mean... But you got to... But the thing is... Okay, then cool. Exactly what you just said becomes a mindset. Are the chains that you putting around yourself... Uh, are they cuffs? Are they your own bondage? Are they society's bondage? Or are, the, or are you doing it because you recognize yourself as, I don't know, true king? Maybe. I think it's all the mindset at that point. I think you gotta choose your own lane with it. Like you can rock a chain, it's cool. You can rock five chains, yeah. I don't care. But is it, are you doing it because society telling you to do it or Something like that, or are you doing it because you I feel like you're I don't care say? which one you choose, or which one you are. Just do, do you. You gotta make it bigger. Yeah, for sure. Meanwhile, the DA teamed up, to, teamed up with the CCA. They try and lock niggas up. They trying to make new slaves. See, that's the privately, that's that privately owned prison. Okay, that's a totally different. Is that that's not really a totally different topic, but that's the same. Privately owned prisons should be abolished. That's just slavery. 
Is it? I mean, yeah, but it's in the it's in the Thirteenth Amendment. I'm pretty sure. Like, as long as you did a crime, you could still be a slave. That's that's kind of pretty much the the interpretation of it, or how they use it. Because you gotta think about it. What are they paying? They're paying them less than minimum wage. Yeah, but you don't have to work at that though. It's the thing. Uh, you just what are you, what else are you going to do besides try to? Go that goes back to my whole idea or about putting hit. McDonald's yeah. in jail. At the end of the day, we jail should be about re, rehabilitation. Unless you le, legit did a heinous crime that you're just gonna have to sit there for the rest of your life. You feel me? Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Do you think most uh, people use jail for that? You said what? Do you think most people use jail for that? Use jail for what? Rehabilitation. To get what? Rehabilitated. Do people use jail to get to to Do you be think her? most people use jail for rehabilitation? It should be used. It should be. That's how it is. That's how it should be. But it's not. But society it's, should. Stay. I mean, the society. Is that where license plates are made? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. They should open up call centers in prisons. That way, somebody and they'll be like, "Let me talk to your manager." And be like, "I'm already in jail, bro. What's up?" Yeah, yeah. The best customer service. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's good, man? I can help you, man. <laughs> I can help you fix it, or you can come here and talk to me about it. Those are your options. What if you do? Just to let you know, I'm I already got life. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. I'm gonna need you to put some money on my books if you if you if you come in. <laughs> it's five dollars a minute to talk to me. <laughs> Look, it'll work, man. It'll They're work. probably doing refund scams in jail. Hey, this is coming from the IRS. Your yeah. social security number you just, is behind the bar. You just a hundred percent made me think about the PPP loans, bro. Uh-huh. The pe- bro, the people who wasn't didn't really have businesses. Bro, these people are getting locked up. They really locking people up. I mean, I don't blame them because you shouldn't have What's did it. What they thought was going to happen? Oh, you got to see this cube rule thing. Okay, what is this? My guy at work showed me this. I asked him what his favorite sandwich was, yeah, and he told me pizza. Wait. So I didn't understand. So let's slowly scroll through, and you can 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 you shake him? Or throw something at him. I'm so uh, tired of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Just stay alert, man. You're not even asleep. Oh, you gotta scroll through it. I can't scroll through it. Are you ready, Derek? Yep, I'm ready. First so, thing. first we asked our hot dog sandwiches. No. No. You say no, right? No. What is it? It's a hot dog? I mean, a, a hot dog is a hot dog, yeah. But it's in a piece of bread on both sides, right? Yeah. No. So is that not no, a sandwich? No, it's not on both sides. No. A sandwich is two pieces of bread. Wait, wait, it's, it's, not, it's no, not on all the sides. It, yeah, it's not It's not on two pieces of bread. All right. Necessarily. It's by two pieces so of bread that's connected together. one piece of bread, and you had some meat and whatever inside of it, and you folded it. Is that not a sandwich? No, it's not a sandwich. What is it? That's folding a half a piece of bread. But what is what was it? What is it called? Uh, a, a piece of meat and a piece of bread. <laughs> like, well, I, you, had meat, you had lettuce, tomatoes, whatever, and you just folded the piece of bread. Specifically for a hot. Wait, hold on. Say you got not even a hot dog. You got meat. You got what else? You got cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, whatever, all on one piece of bread, and you just folded it. You probably. Oh, that's a pizza. sandwich, right? But it's, it's not a sandwich. sandwich. It's not a sandwich. Let's say no. it didn't work. It's that's a, a piece of bread. Whatever. All right. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. All right. So here are the classic sandwiches, as you guys love. And you guys say the poor hot dog is not a sandwich. Grilled cheese that's are not. amazing. It's All right. Let's keep going. It's not a sandwich. Oh, you clicked it. Grilled cheese are amazing. Also... Peanut butter and banana sandwiches. New York York York. A hot dog is a sandwich. Let's keep going. I mean, New York says a hot dog is a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. 
the state of New York. I respect that. Oh, I live sandwiches in are generally subject to sales tax. This bulletin explains what is considered a sandwich for sales pur tax purposes. Additional resources relating to sales of food. Heroes, response, heroes Hot dogs, movies. sausages on a bun, roll, etc. as a sandwich. You can argue. That. I, I, I think we can get that out of court. I think we can get that kicked out of court. That's a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. What makes it not a sandwich? It's, it All right, let's. They didn't. No, they didn't even make an argument. Nah, because it resembles a taco more than it resembles a, let's a keep sandwich. Going. Tacos not a sandwich. It's, it's, keep going. It resembles so, a taco more than it resembles. These sandwich. people have Our funny taco. tweets. Yeah, the sandwich so, discourse okay, is played look. out. We need to have. A new discussion pop tarts are kind of probably yoli dog what what are y'all talking about the wars began um excuse me ravioli are are a kind of pop tart keep going oh man yeah wait the that's sandwich what, wait the pop tart people tweeted that is that what the, that was yeah, yeah that's crazy okay let's keep going. so this they one. try to bring order keep going okay we got a lot to cover so they got a whole chart all right, let's break it down. Let's get it. All right. A structure, the purest. A sandwich must have a classic sandwich shape, two pieces of bread, ba bread such baked product with toppings in between. That's what y'all think. BLT. That's the sandwich, right? That's a purest sandwich. Yeah, I'll give you that. I mean, that's, that's what it means, right? No. Wait, let's go. Hold up. That no. means your only definition no. of a sandwich is so boom no 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 we're, we're only Absolutely on the first not. line we're only on the read first the line other... you said all right what? let's do the other two lines all right read structural other... neutral yeah. so it's like the, a chart the... though you do the left and the top and then you find in the middle which one you are uh, oh a... okay i was reading it wrong yeah okay i got you i got you i got you ingredient right. okay so let's read them all a sandwich must have a classic sandwich shape two pieces of bread a uh, baked uh, product with toppings in between structural neutral uh, the container must be in either side of the toppings but not necessarily two separate pieces I'm not that that's a sandwich I'm not that uh, can contain any food envelope so in any a way by a containing food so a sub's not a sandwich a sub is definitely a sandwich this is wrong what's though. the difference Oh, no, it's not a sub. <laughs> oh, nah, that's totally. Y'all are trash. Wait, go to the top. Oh. Yeah, must have a classic sandwich toppings, meat, cheese, lettuce, condiments, etc. You're an ingredients pure. Can contain that's broader scope of savory ingredients. It's still a sandwich. A burrito is a sandwich. I no, it's not. Where I fall on this. Look at it. A burrito is definitely not no damn sandwich. Just, Can contain literally any it? food, product, oh, sandwich, etc. Yeah. No. <laughs> Nah, bro. Nah. So, so wait, nah, nah, bro. Nah. A pop tart's a sandwich. Look, a pop tart is not a sandwich. It's between two pieces of bread. It has anything in it? No, it's not. No, <laughs> no, it's not no damn sandwich. You want a sandwich there? No, no. If somebody asks me that and they, I'll be so mad, bro. First off, I'm a vegetarian, so I wouldn't say nothing. But yeah, that's crazy. So let, let's break this down. A hot dog is not a sandwich. It definitely is. Look at this chart and tell me it's wrong. There's something off about that, bro. <laughs> Keep scrolling. There's more. I think I'm now that we it. have the basis down, let's let's get yeah, into the weeds. Sued. Yeah, ba yeah. Of course it is sued, bro. You just <laughs> go. Keep going down, man. Keep going. Keep going. Then spake the holy prophet. Are you unsatisfied with current debates regarding what is or is not a sandwich? You should try using the cube rule for identifying what you're eating. You ready for this? Okay, this genius broke it down. Keep going. There's different categories. So, number one is toast. One layer is toasted. On yeah. number two, you have the sandwich. You have two layers of bread or what starch okay. on a taco you have three etc etc okay i et can cetera. live with this i can live with this all right so now let's keep going and it's about to I actually think this, i think this actually makes so much sense this makes more right. sense than that damn chart before you I think so yeah, absolutely it makes it's way more sense. don't get me wrong the other one made sense too but it, 
Look, go ahead. So before we go further, is a hot dog a sandwich? It's a taco. It's a. All right. It's not a taco. Taco is a. It's a from a Hispanic culture, and it's its own. But look thing. at number three. Look I at mean, three. just, but he, I, he's not using the term, the actual term of ta- taco. He's using just the shape of what a taco is like. And I'm saying a hot dog w- would classify it as a taco, just in the sense that what you're putting in it and the shape of it. It's more of a it's taco not. than a sandwich. You think so? Yeah, it's more of a taco than a sandwich. That's All right, what I'm saying. Let's a hot keep dog. Yeah, keep going. Even though it's one piece of bread. Absolutely. Okay. Identify. Let's keep going. Bread. Keep going. Identify any food. We're gonna do toast. Are these toasts? Oh, do by the definition of toast, is this correct? Wait, 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 wait. You know, toast yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I don't know what the middle one is at all. I don't it's, know. It's, Was that rice with meat? Yeah, all of them. Are. Sushi. Yeah, and, I would agree. So wait, no, it's sushi, not. No, no, hold on. Let's slow down. The pizza is definitely toast. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. How's this toast? The it's starch. Rice. It's starch on on top of on on bottom of meat. Scroll up, scroll up to the oh, drawing. Okay. Read the first line under cube rule of food for identifying dish based on starch locations. Yep. The starch is underneath it. Rice is starch. It's directly underneath it. So Not technically, on top of it, nowhere else. So I agree. With toast. I then agree. we need to re- we need to re- re- look at how we're looking at this chart. Why are you only consider sushi wrapped then? <laughs> Why is sushi only wrapped? That's one way. That's one way of looking at. It. That's a terrible way of looking right. at something. Keep scrolling. Maybe there's more. Let's keep going. Right. So pot everybody pie. agrees. I we're not calling pumpkin to- pot pie yeah. toast. Pumpkin pie is it not is, toast. It is no. toast. Why not? Because it's pie. It's under. It, <laughs> it's, it's pie. Under, it's, it's, pie. <laughs> it's, it's pie. It's his own thing already. Keep going. Keep going. Sandwich. So a quesadilla is a sandwich. Everybody agrees. A quesadilla is a quesadilla. Once again, oh, it's, 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 a quesadilla is a, a Hispanic word. We do not have you know, an American not word get, for that. You, you cannot call wrong. that a. You can't call it. You, you can't just make it American. Culturally appropriated. That's but basically by what you're the doing. Of sandwich with the starch locations on the top and the bottom. If we define that as a sandwich, is the quesadilla a sandwich? Yeah. I've never had Victoria sponge cake, but by the picture, it looks good, and I would assume so. Yeah, that is not a sandwich; right, it's a well, cake. Let me we get some of So here's the thing. Here's the problem with this chart. It's not including so many different types of things. Like why okay. aren't why isn't a pie its own category? It's it's limiting its categories, and that's why it's trying to right. make it seem like what it's right. We, this this is not a real chart. Toast. This chart is broken. What if instead of toast, we call that category pies? Now all pizzas are pies, and all sushis are pies. Do you agree with that? Toast slash pie. You can't call this a pie though. This should be a this should be a whole section for pies. Toast slash pie. So so it should be toast instead of pie. Toast slash pie. Hold on. Nah. So sushi is pie. This is stupid. Who made this shit up? Toast he just agreed with it. Yes. That's you what just said, That's why I, I like this. Right, toast slash pot. <laughs> no, but their, their examples are terrible. Remind us. Remind I'm, saying, us. I'm saying based off their chart, these th- this is not toast. You're not about to argue this is toast with me. How? <laughs> you, don't even, <laughs> you don't even cook it. You don't even cook sushi, it's dog. It is, bro. It's toast. It's, you don't cook toast. sushi. By the sample of... Look, what... It, by what they defined, it is when you, If you're going to eat a flat piece of bread... They're literally only basing it on starch. There's no other classifications. Eat, That's kind of a joke. If, Think about that. If you want to eat one piece of bread, what is it called? Toast. Bread. <laughs> bread. So, until, so until, until you put a toast so in a toast... Me, you telling me it got to be cooked to be toast. All he's, to saying, be. all he's saying is no. that... He's taking... No, don't taking take it, it literally. literally. He's taking everything's too literal. That's what they're, I'm saying. They're cat... The category, just like like category. Then these are terrible categories. Then if you can't okay. take it, if you can't take them from a liberal don't, sense, don't don't take it as toast. Take it as category one. These are the same based on this qualification. Yeah, so but I don't, I don't like the qual. That's my point. I don't like the qualifications. This whole this whole based on its starch location is kind of ridiculous, don't you think? I mean, I, I think a it's a little bit between two layers of starch, right? 
a taco, something that's encompassed by it. Like these, you just five minutes ago agreed. Not yeah, but no, agree. I'm I'm agreeing with the chart. I'm not agreeing with the with, with examples. That's what I'm saying. But a pizza is a good example. For toast, I'll give you pizza toast. Yes, that makes sense. You're not Why? telling me this sushi. You gotta bake Why? it. You gotta you can you gotta bake it. Answer this question. You gotta bake it. You have to cook the rice. You don't bake rice. You can You do cook it though. You have to cook the rice. You don't toast All the right. rice. You. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking it too literal, bro. He's just taking it you too literal. You don't toast the pizza. You do. You don't. No, you don't. You, don't. you, you actually do. don't. Bake it. No, you. You can toast the pizza. Up. It is being baked because it is raw dough. It's not. It's not a piece of bread. There Just you go. No, there you go. Like, no, 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 no. Watch, like, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> if I take a piece of bread, put it in the toaster and toast it. Take marinara sauce. Put marinara sauce on it. Put cheese on it. And put a pepperonis on it. That's a pizza. Stop talking. That's not a pizza. That's I said toast. I'm wrong. That's uh, toast. That's, I disagree. I've had. That's toast I've had. Butter. I've had pizza with uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter is the sauce. So that that negates everything you just said. I've had barbecue, and it was no other too. nothing. Everything you just said. You said barbecue, yeah. So nah, I, I, just because you put you shit on, on on pizza on pizza bread doesn't make it pe- doesn't make it pizza. Pi- put you can't then put pineapples on pizza. This, this whole putting peanut butter toast. on pizza thing I'm hearing that's nonsense. <laughs> uh, I've had peanut butter as as <laughs> on pizza. I love you, Rob. <laughs> I've had peanut butter on pizza. It was like peanut butter type. All right. Let's All I'm the saying is the classifications for this is just kind of wrong. These examples that's are the, terrible. Go to the fine. next one. All right, go to the next one. So let's talk so about this all... toast one. Th- that's not no. toast. <laughs> <laughs> that's just three pieces of bread, bro. What, like, what are we doing? That's not a sandwich. That's three pieces of bread. <laughs> but Ryan made it, and he said it was okay. So. <laughs> nah, dog. Ryan made All right, it. let's get to the tacos. We haven't been, been, been on tacos yet. Yo, I skipped over that, but I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> just All right, let's. What's the yeah, taco? Yeah. Let's see what a taco is. All right, but a hot dog's a taco. Yeah, it's a taco. It's a like slice it. of pie's a taco. Ah. Uh, what about no. a sub? No, 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 no. Time it's, on, it's on three sides. I guess I can see that. That's not a taco. Subs a sub. Subs. Wait, wait, wait. Subs a Hold sandwich. Up. No. Subs a sandwich? Uncut? A sub is, is, a, is technically a taco by this chart. And it makes sense. The pie, on the other hand, if you, it's eat, three if you eat the whole pie and you don't <laughs> cut it, well, I guess he said slice it's of pie. It's a calzone. It says slice of pie. So oh, I, yeah. I, I'm good. I can't argue. I'm okay with taco. What's that? So a sub is a sub. A sub is a sandwich. A sub cannot All be right. a taco. That doesn't How? make sense. Taco is a, a Hispanic heritage thing. Ugh. <sighs> And you next, cannot. Next. You can't. Um, you can't cultural appropriate it with your little American foods. I don't think sandwiches He's just trying America. to make the example, bro. It's just an example. It's a bad example. This is a sandwich. This is not a taco. <laughs> <laughs> Go to number He's four, hot. man. He He's is. Hot about this. He is pissed. How the fuck is it? Go to number hot four, dog, man. Go to number man. four. A hot dog is definitely a taco. No, it's a hot dog. Yeah, it's a sandwich. I mean, in that sense, it's a taco. A hot dog is if if a sandwich, a sub's not a taco. A hot dog's a sandwich. No, a taco's more. A hot dog's more of a taco than a sub is. A sub is <laughs> it's a legit. <laughs> what? Look, bro, Rob, you're making this too confusing. You got to choose which one. There's no <laughs> way. You can't say a sub is a sandwich and a hot dog is more of a taco. And you you're a purist. Say, you are. That's why. Yeah, you're just a purist. He, he, he was that. He was the one on that very far of a chart. The top very left. yeah, top plus. Yeah. It had cheese, yeah. ham, and lettuce in it. It's a sandwich. Yeah. So wait, if you put everything inside of the sub, inside of the hot dog, and took everything out of the hot dog and put it inside of the sub, would it change the categories? Let's let's think about it. Because if you put. Because cause here's what I would say. If you take all the sub stuff and put it in the hot dog, I think it makes it a sandwich. But if you put the hot dog inside of the sub bun, uh, so it's I, think that's still, I, think, I think it's a hot dog. So it's the meat Doggy that crazy. does it for you. Doggy so he's a, he's an ingredient purist. He's the purist. You're like, it's no, it's no, yeah, just go to number four, man. You're the yeah, purist. You're just that's the purist. fine. We know I what Rob is. We know what Rob let, 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 let I still love you, part. baby. Let's see what the sushi is. You ready for this? Pigs in the blanket, Rob. How do you feel? Sushi, I agree with everything here, in the sense of what it, what it, yeah, 
He said the uh, hot dogs. Falafel wrap is not it's not a sandwich. It's more of a taco than a a falafel yeah. wrap? It's more of a taco than a than a sushi. A falafel wrap? Is what you're saying? Yeah. If but it's enclosed. If it's enclosed, if it's enclosed, then it's it's it's, it's that's not, is that really enclosed? Look at this. On all sides. I mean, if you open sides, it up, it's not. Yeah. If you open it up, it's not. If you but eat it the way it's meant look to be. It's not a burrito because the burrito has one side closed. Yep. That's what I'm no. saying. Look at this. This can easily. This is not. This is not wrapped. This is not secure. Burritos are secure, that and that's the difference. Secure to me. That is a sushi. That yeah. is a sushi. It's this is the first thing that I've seen on here that I can eat, and now I'm really, I'm actually hungry. This does look good. Yeah, everything else that y'all said before, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. You but like yeah. pie? Oh, I love me some pie, but I need You're something. Crazy. I need something. Who don't love pie? This look good as hell. All right. This is the only one that's roaring here. Would yeah, bro. Agree? I wish I could be on the you board on this because right? I'll, I'll shut all this shit down. You couldn't. I'll shut all this shit down. What about an enchilada? Do you agree with the enchilada? I'll give it to you. I don't agree with the enchilada. I agree with the enchilada. I'll fuck I up an enchilada. enchilada. It's the same thing as a wrap. I don't know. How you... A quiche. Okay. A pita? This is not Wait, a quiche. This hold a quiche. up. I mean. I see a pita. I see the soup. You cut it in one. The cheese as, as, as long as it has to be around it, I can see that. Because the starch content. Oh, yeah, okay, got you. That's fair. I don't like this whole idea of bexing off starch. There's too, there's too many other factors to, to but, notice. Okay. That's technically... The thing is, when you get a slice of cheesecake, you're not going to eat a whole cheesecake like that. So it doesn't. But if you did. Yeah, so I see what you're saying. And I, I agree with the philosophy. If I had a full cheesecake, again. I'm eating it from the middle. Because I'm fat. I'm Just still going to cut me a slice at a time, even if I did have it all to me at one time. It's fun. What's That's the next cool. category? Bonus round a deep dish pizza. Do you agree with that? Yes. It's a quiche. No, no. A, no. A, a pizza is a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> if, if anything, we can still we still gotta put it in the in the it's in actually the, toast, in the, right? in the toast. Room. It's not laid up, man. I thought it was toast. It's not toast, man. Pizza was toast. It's right? deep dish. When you have ingredients surround, uh, y'all got me thinking now. I don't know. Nah, I bro. Yeah, just go. It might have been a sandwich. I think you know what this is. I, 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 it took me all this time to figure it out. Do you know what this shit is? You know what this shit is right here. Do you know what this shit is right here. I, I just it took me this long. I just figured this shit out. Do you know what this shit is right here. What? This is a bullshit. That's what it is. You know all it is. It's just trying to simplify food. Food food is beautiful and complex and it's an art form. And you're trying to simplify it. Up. We already have categories for food. It's called fucking pizza. We have pizza. <laughs> we have salads. We have pies. It's a quiche, we have pork. Bro. We have pigs. We have yep. sandwiches. All this is trying to do is simplify food. That's, this, this, that's why it's so damn wrong. Week. Look, look, wait, wait. wait that's why it's so I damn wrong. Look, look I, I disagree with you, though. I disagree with you. Look, I was watching some shit on the History Channel, right? About uh, pizza, right? And dude from... Uh, not the not those, uh, Don, uh, Pizza Hut. Papa Jones? Pizza Hut. Um, when they first got started out, they said that their sales was low on the East Coast, right? And they couldn't figure out why. It was because Italians didn't consider that pizza, like the what the original like American pizza was. So they said it was flatter, so they ended up making the flat, like the flat pizza that we have today is because of that, because they had to get their sales right on the East Coast. Mm. So... Uh, the reason why I disagree with you is because I'm pretty sure by that. Pizza's a pie. Yeah, like our pizza now is more like a, in this category, quiche or a pie, whatever you want to say. But um, how's our pizza? Italian, quiche, Italian pizza. Italian pizza is more like a toast in the, in in this argument. That's all I'm saying. Because this flat. is one style of pizza. This is a sub. This is a sub category of pizza. I'm just saying. You're trying to simplify food. I mean, you said pizza is... Okay, never mind. Never mind. That's, That's what this whole chart is. It's trying to simplify food for no damn reason. It's, it's right. a beautifully complex the way it is. Good general categories in which to cite 
to stop the holy war that was happening before. I think this is a so great... So, I have this question. Though. Are you you yeah. hated the previous category system, yeah. and you hate this just as much. Yeah. How can we please you? Well, here's my yeah. thing. These yeah. examples are terrible. A new one. Uh, That's what I want to do. He said the examples are terrible. I think we, we should. I think we could redo this chart in a better way. How? I disagree. Prove it. That's what we're gonna do this week. That's, that's gonna, gonna be our project. That's gonna be his project. I ain't taking that <laughs> on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch him struggle with it. He gonna be like, food is complex. That's what he's gonna come back with. <laughs> food is complex. I, you. I promise you, Robert's gonna fuck up his kitchen after this. <laughs> it's Memorial Day. He gonna fuck up the kitchen. He All gonna right. go in there so and start making I'll ask everything. You this question. I so what? Yeah, we got one more since round this, left though. Since this is one, only yeah. based this is literally only based on where the starch is. If That's the if the if the if a, what's a salad with croutons in it? A quiche. A salad How? with croutons? Because as if it has no bread around it. In a bowl. Is it not in the salad bro? You see what I'm saying? Is it in the salad bowl? No, if it's, it's not, not in a, that's, a, that's in a bread bowl. I'm talking about like in a bowl, like a regular bowl. You can't eat the bowl. Oh, it's not a sandwich. Yeah, it's just a salad. It's just a salad. Now you're making it too complicated. But no, there's a sandwich is a specific category. I'm saying if there's no starch. Then it's not a sandwich because there's no starch. Not you all these. So you think all these are sandwiches? No. Yes. Well, no. Oh, okay. No, these all I'm have older. their own example. What is six? There's one more. A calzone, I think. And close. So it's Scroll all down. encompassed one. Scroll Let's down. see what these ones are. A oh, corn no. dog. <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't eat this stick in the corn dog, so I don't know about that. No, it's the cornbread around it, Darren. You said what? It's the cornbread around it. I mean, I understand, but you don't eat. I'm just saying the ingredients that same. How you don't is eat. a corn dog? I agree with that one. No. Yeah. Rob, you agree this is a corn dog's a calzone? All these I, I don't calzones. like these words that we're choosing to describe these uh <laughs> they describe these foods. This, I think I these words this. are like terrible. I think there I should agree. probably be at least six more categories. Oh, the, the what? Categories. I think this is a real elementary way to categorize food. I mean, Worldly categorizing based on a cube, but it's only because based on like starches on the where the starch is. Well, the well, previous one supposed to be based was on based on the ingredients and the style, and you hated it. So this one's based on something quantifiable. Yeah. <clears throat> should we do something in the middle? Yeah, I think we should find something in the middle. Oh what damn! Pop tarts or calzones? Prove me wrong. I love those incrustables. Yeah, I, used to I got some in my fridge right day. now. I used to, I made it through high school with them bitches. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about the pop tart. Mm, calzone. I see. I see it. So does that mean all of these transcend? Wait, all of these. I don't know. Flowable, whatever the word is. I I can't think of the word. Uh, associative. Where a Uncrustables is a dumpling, technically. Oh, or a Pop Tart oh. is technically. Can the name a, go? Can the name go either way, both yeah. ways? Yeah. That's, That's why I see it. That's the way I was. So saying. corn dog is technically a Pop Tart. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's disgusting. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> Like basically, what he was asking. That's not is, how that since, works. Since the calzone. <laughs> That's not how that works. That's not how that works at all. Can, they, all can a dumpling be category. a burrito? Can is a dumpling it? basically? Yo, let me have that burrito <laughs> over there. What burrito? The dumplings, right? That one. <laughs> I mean, technically, they're all oh, associative, right? I they're transistic. Or whatever mean, the word is. I mean, Rob would say he's gonna have a couple more. Are, a couple more ca categories. I don't know where you can put them at if you He's just base them off the starch. Have categories that are food names. That's that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be the exact same thing. Man, that's crazy. Thing, but we're gonna have hundreds of categories. I, I'm just have. saying we need to find a. There's a better way we can classify these things. How would you categorize? All right, right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. There's actually more. Cube rulings. Keep going. Can you scroll down? Here's the cake. Oh man. A three-layer cake. I can see that. That's a problem. You ready for this? You agree this is a cake? Are yeah. we still basing this on starch? 
Still on starch. <clears throat> This is a cake. These are See, cakes. this is what I'm talking about, dog. We, we, we ain't about to do this. This is this this is what this was for. This is exactly what this shit was for. They dog. made this shit so people can get angry and start yelling at the mic, talking about it's how stupid it is. This this don't make any sense. We can't just we we can't just we can't simplify food like this. We really can't. This is kind of disgusting. <laughs> Yo, why did you do this to this man, bro? Why did you do this to this man? Look. I can't breathe. <laughs> it is not wrong, bro. It's, it's technically not wrong. Cakes look, have multiple layers, layers of starch with filling in between. Is that not true? Certain cakes do. Yes, I do agree. I definitely agree with the pancakes because it's in the it's name. It's like a cake. It's in the name. If you put frosting over that shit it's in and the you name. served it, syrup is somebody the, will cut syrup into is it. Syrup the frosting. Rob is pissed. Rob is pissed. I'm just, I'm just I, telling you. Right. The Rob said, where things is the like frosting? This is, it's crazy. You see, he's, a, he's an ingredient purist. He's, he's looking for purist. frosting. Yeah. That's why. You got to get your mind woke. Shake your third eye, big dog. What's yeah. he doing? Here's a salad. Like you asked. With no starch content. It is technically is exactly a salad. what you wanted. These See, this is what salad. I'm talking about. I knew they were going to do this shit. <laughs> so everything is a salad. So it doesn't have any starch, it's a salad. I knew they were going to do this shit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Wait, hold on. I knew this shit was bullshit. I knew it was. This is like, bro, no, bro. This is wrong. I'm telling you right now, it's wrong. How's it wrong? Tell me how it's wrong. A steak's not a salad. We're not doing that. <laughs> You have to have some type of a vegetable ingredient within a, within, within your salad. It has to be a mixture of a different things. Not. You can argue that fruit salad, uh, maybe, fruit but salad. not a dog. Look. Look. Nah, dog. A steak is not a, is not a salad. A fruit salad is a salad. How's spaghetti not a salad? It's How not, is it not? There's no, lettuce. Lettuce. there's no There's no oh, tomatoes. There's no... It's a, it's, it has to have those ingredients to be a salad. Yes or no? Yeah. Because you, you're not going to convince me a steak's not a, a salad. Here. What about fruit salad? What about macaroni salad? A fruit salad is called no, a fruit no. salad because it's a mixture of a bunch of different fruits. That's more of a so name I, thing, not a classification. So what's the difference from the steak? I'm going to call this a steak salad for all the people that want to lose weight. It's so a go ahead and get salad. you a steak salad. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro. If you ever want to convince somebody you you losing weight and you said you go on eat a, a diet, steak salad. just say you eating a salad. They don't. They're not even gonna question what you're gonna do. There's with no it. question. You know, I got like, you. Oh, you got a salad. Oh, that's good for you, man. There's and more you know for you, right? You're steak. You gonna oh, love it. Yeah. What's okay? What's next? Yeah. I think we're almost done. Oh. That's a wet salad. I'm fucking. You can't. Weak. You can't tell me <laughs> soup is a salad. It's a wet a salad. A soup should be its own category. It's a wet salad. Based on the category, there's no starch how can, around it. I was about to say, how can it be its own category? It's a wet salad. A wet salad? Penis, a wet salad? Know. It's a wet salad. Nah, dog. We ain't doing that. All right, keep going. Let's see what else there is. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. It's, how's that not make sense? Muffins or other blocks of starch are one type of toast. Are you ready? Yeah. Rice. See, they got different things. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because that first <laughs> one didn't make sense. Try to call rice toast. That doesn't make no damn sense. Rice can be toast. What salad? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can say that. Rob disagree. I already know. And I think we did great. That 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 was the stupidest shit. Oh shit, we're over an hour too. It's no, definitely not. not the stupidest. It's thing. not. Rob I think. Look, cause sandwiches are a real thing, bro. When sandwiches first came out, they were like, "Oh shit, this is gonna take over the world." And guess what? It did. We still eat sandwiches for everything. We put everything in between cheap uh, bread. So it's a big thing. Anyway, bro. See, this chart made sense, but he swore. He liked the other one better. I mean, I'm either one of these two. I'm either the structural neutral care. ingredient purist or a true neutral. But I don't I'm, know about that. I didn't know this was describing people. 
Yeah, the people. The yeah, people this are is where being you fall. described. This is where you fall. Where so you're an ingredient from? purist and a structure purist. I am a structure neutral and ingredient neutral. I don't agree with that Pop Tart shit. I'm not with that Pop Tart shit. I'm not with ice cream. So here's the thing. I'll tell you. I'm a structure I'm purist. I'll tell you that ice. That this this is a sandwich. Ice cream is a sandwich. This ice cream sandwich right here. That's a sandwich. So then, how is a hot dog? Not a hot dog is not a sandwich. It's a it taco. A we sandwich. went through this. It's, it's a, taco, a taco, bro. It's a but, taco. But Even you agree. The, it's a taco. If I put the hot dog inside of the sub, here it is. It has to. It can only contain certain uh, things. It can contain both a broader scope of savory ingredients. That's why I'm neutral. I think I'm a true neutral as well. You can't be. But it's not a sandwich. It's a sandwich. <clears throat> it's a taco. It's not a taco. It's a taco. So if you put the meat from in the sandwich inside of this hot dog, it's a taco. Or is it a sandwich? Because then you're worried about the ingredients, sir. This is taco. So this it's sub taco. is a taco. If you put it in the hot dog, bowl, the ingredients in the hot yeah, it's a taco. You're wild. <clears throat> Yeah. Then what happens to the hot dog that we put in the sun? In so, two pieces of bread? It's, it's in bread. one piece of bread. No, that's two pieces. That's one piece of bread. That's At two. Subway, they cut one side of it open, they fill it up, and they close it. It's the same thing, then. Then they're both tacos. I don't know how to explain it. They're both tacos. For the record, Darren just said subs are tacos. Subs, if, the, if you cut them open and it's not two pieces of bread, you just cutting up in one piece of bread, it's a taco, period. It's a sandwich, period. It's a taco. It's hey, not a sandwich. All right, we're good. That's all, that's all I have to tell. That's all I have to say. That's a taco. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I don't agree at all. It's a taco. I don't agree. Well, I had fun tonight, boys. Yeah, definitely, man. You go ahead and wrap this up, bro, man. So, actually, I want to do this. If uh, I want you all to go down in the comment section and tell us who, who, who which one are you? Which, which one are you? What category are you following? Are you a yeah, structural purist? I want to know what category y'all following. Yeah, we're gonna leave the link to that in the uh, in the bio and everything. Definitely. Uh, so once again, talking about no pop tart, you're not allowed back. Yeah, you might not. We, we yeah. Yeah, you probably need to be like lynched or something. No, nah, no, not like, not all that. But I can tell you, you won't. I'm taking we, my headphones off. We can't. Uh, we can't have you on the <laughs> podcast. We, we just. We, just, we I, we, I don't know how. You know what? We would we would love to have you on the podcast to explain no. why you think that. It, I have guns. You know what? No. I might be that by the end of this. To be honest, pop tart is a sandwich. You gotta go home. Close your laptop. Wrap us up. It's not go. a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. He's over here thinking too. It's damn not hard. a sandwich. They can't. I can be. see the wheels moving. They can't be. All right. Anyway, yeah. Go ahead. Wrap us up, man. All right. Thank you all once again for checking out our video. Uh, once again, my name is Robert. Uh, that's Darren. And that's LA. Uh, thank y'all for checking out the podcast. Uh, check us out on social media. Uh, we're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Uh, we also have a website called InspiredByVisionPro.com. Go check us out there. Uh, thank y'all once again for checking out the podcast. Peace out. Peace. I can see an ice cream sandwich.